Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. If your router experienced a reset during a firmware upgrade, power outage, or due to functionality issue, and you are feeling concerned about reconfiguring it, relax. In today's video, we have got covered. We will be diving into the WAN configuration of our TP-Link router, especially the TP-Link Archer C5 and C6 in the static IP mode. But before we get started with the configuration, it's important to gather some key information from your service provider. Make sure to jot down the details such as IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, primary and secondary DNS, and the VLAN numbers. So talk to the customer care and get the details. It will look like similar to it. Okay, since we have all the details, let's start the video without any further delay. Okay, let me bring my browser here. Okay, this is my web browser and I'm trying to log into my router. So this is in the default mode and the default IP address of this router is 192.168.0.1. But before that, when once you before you log into this router, make sure that you are connected to your the same LAN. So same LAN means through it could be the wireless or the wired one. So how do you check that? You have to go to the run and the run you have to type the CMD. That means open the command prompt. And after opening the command prompt, run this command called IP config. So you can see here as of now I'm connected to router via Wi-Fi and this is my IP address 192.168.0.1 and this is the default gateway. Default gateway is my router. Okay. So now let's log into this router. So this is asking for the new password. We have to always give this a strong password and as you can see here and then click on the let get started. So I'm clicked here. It's asking for the password. No, I don't want. So in the last video, we have configured this dynamic IP configuration. In this video, we'll go with the static IP configuration and click on the next. I can see here it's asking about the IP address and the subnet mask detail. I, as I have showed you in the intro video, it will this this detail will will look like similar to this, right? So it's asking about the IP address. So let me copy this IP address from here. This is the IP address been provided by the service provider. Okay. Okay, and uh, subnet mask. So subnet mask, go to the subnet mask. And this is the default gateway. Default gateway will go to the default gateway. And DNS, this is the primary DNS. So primary DNS will go to primary DNS. And then the secondary DNS. The secondary DNS will go to the Secondary DNS. Secondary DNS is the Google DNS. But before we go next, let me show you one thing. So I do not have a internet access on this router. So we can see here. Let me ping this uh, Google. Google.com. I don't think it's going to work. Let me ping this Google IP address just to show you. 8.8.8 it says uh, destination host at unreachable means it's there is no reachability to this server so anyhow so now since we have given all the detail and if your uh, service provider support the vlan id right so you have to add the vlan id here so in my sheet you can see here the ip the vlan id is 1001 just copy this id and add it here 1001 and click on the next button my case, I do not have any uh, VLAN ID, so I just uncheck this box and click on the next. So here is asking about the network SSID and password. You can change your network SSID from here. So um, you can add uh, like my home Wi-Fi, my home Wi-Fi 2.4, right? And uh, this since this router support the uh, a dual band uh, router this is a dual band router and support a two band first is 2.4 gigahertz and second one is 5 gigahertz right so you can see here this would be my my home wi-fi 5 right this would be considered as the 5 gigahertz router so i'm not going to change any i'm not going to make any change i will go with the default one and then click on the next and then save the configuration so see it's trying to save the configuration whatever key information we have given it to it it's trying to save it okay it says that it successfully saved the configuration click on the next and then click on the finish you can see here this red uh, icon is running and now it says 
it's tick mark it says internet and and from this route is from the internet you can see your router is connected and it's working good and you can see there's two uh, two uh, wireless uh, symbol here one is yellow and the green, uh, blue so you can see yellow is 2.4 gigahertz and this blue is uh, 5 gigahertz and this one you can see here uh, i have one wireless connect connection to this router and again this is the usb disk is zero and if it can come down you can click on the internet it says that you can see the status it's a, if you click on this internet it will show you the status so it say the internet is uh, connected and the connection type is a static ip and the ip address is uh, 29.184 this is i think i believe this is the one which we have given right this is the one which we have given this is the dns server and this is the gateway that's it and now when we check can we check this ping test here so let's go back and check ping ping this google.com working good right now let's ping this 8.8 .8. okay this is also working good now it's time to check the speed test okay click on the speed test and now the moment of truth is wow you can see the speed here internet is speed so out of 150 mbps i'm getting somewhere close to 140 mbps so that's good that's good absolutely good i'm very happy with my internet speed and of course with the router because this has got the four powerful antennas I can consider this is to be the good speed for me and we have successfully configured our router here right in the static IP I static IP mode so go ahead and configure your router and if you have any questions concern any query related to this video please do let me in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video